Hey YouTube, uh, Zach here, the professional nerd. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the BQ Magician, which is a new 3D printer from BQ, and it was sent over courtesy of them. So let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about the new powerhouse of our 3D printer from BQ. As you can see, it is a smaller 3D printer uh, with a base of 100 millimeters and a height of 150 millimeters. But with that small uh, thing, it does offset with a amazing print quality. Uh, right now, the Kira uh, profile that they sent over with it uh, pr prints at 0.15 layer height, and I'm getting some amazing prints uh, with very little uh, stringing, re like retractions dialed in, and printing very beautifully. Uh, the staple of this new 3D printer is that it is fully built and comes in at a price that is under 200 US dollars, which is a win-win. Uh, I'm going to talk about some of the things it does come with. Um, it comes with a power adapter, uh, like that. It's not a, it does not have an internal power supply, so you just plug it in with the uh, DC barrel jack over on the side, which does have a USB port on the side also if you wanted to print with your computer, which I have not tried yet because I do everything through touch screen and uh, the SD card that does come with it. It is only two gigabytes, but it's plenty of space for uh, G-code. Over on the side, there is a power button and it has a Titan extruder installed. Um, it does have auto bed leveling, which is the same way that this printer over here, the big Delta from the same company use, works. It's the uh, film with the that acts like a switch with the foam that wraps around the nozzle and it has the little cord off to the side. It came with some extra foam little pads for it. Uh, came with a small roll of cap on tape. It does have uh, two nozzles. It came with extra nozzles and a new throat just in case your uh, that one gum gets gummed up or something. Also comes with all the allen wrenches needed to uh, fix it. Also comes with a very nice uh, print scraper, print bed removal, uh, much better than the one that came with the Big Delta because uh, it actually is chamfered at the end so it's thinner at the end and then slowly it's built bigger so you can actually get underneath and scrape it. Um, there is no heated bed on this 3D printer which I think is kind of a downside of it but then again it is a $200 printer so you know you'll have to sub, you know, deal with it. Uh, the printer did come with a small roll of filament, which I printed uh, entirely all of. Um, so I guess now I can start going to some of the issues that I do not like with this printer. Uh, first off, it, the up top, the actual spool that they have comes with it, only really fits these small, small rolls, which either you can rewind filament onto these if you want, but that's not, that's kind of annoying. Um, also, when you start getting into like, because it has like a notch like this, so there's these different holes. I do have a roll of uh, Smart Solid 3D printer, or Smart Solid uh, filament, and when you put it on, it does fit on the roll, but it covers up the entire extruder because it's such a big, such a big roll. So. That's kind of a downside, so I'm going to have to uh, find an STL somewhere online or design one myself that I like that is a spool holder so I can, you know, start, so I can fit on the bigger rolls of filament. Uh, another con of this is it kind of it has an extra power supply, so you have to worry about, you know, putting your power supply somewhere and such. Another con uh, with this 3D printer is... It is much louder than uh, the other big Delta uh, because this Delta features the TMC 2100 uh, step motor drivers, whereas this uses like the uh, the A4998 ones, uh, uses the older you know the louder ones, and you know with it being uh, a Delta you know it still ha it's able to move a little bit quicker, but you can really just hear all the belts. So let me just power it on. Power it on. As you can hear, the fans are. A little bit noisy, and if we just go ahead and pull it down a little bit, we can home it and we can listen to how loud it actually is. And also, the 
table that it is on, it is also kind of amplifying the sound of it. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's how about how loud it is. So you just home it. That's you can, and you can do everything straight from this LCD screen. Actually, I'm gonna break go ahead and bring the camera closer so we can start playing around with some of the features on there, and then I can start talking about the pros of this printer and show off some of the prints. So we we'll, we'll be right back. Two thousand years late. Okay, so we're back. So we're gonna go ahead and home it. As you can hear, that's, or as you can see, it homed. Now we're gonna go ahead and attach the leveling probe. So there's a, a small attachment over to the side. Attach it there. Go ahead, pop this onto the extruder on the bottom of the hot end. And we're gonna go ahead and click right here, which says leveling. Let me go ahead and level it. So go ahead and do its auto leveling sequence. Okay, as you see, it auto leveled, and now I shouldn't have any problems while printing. Uh, once again, like I said, you can do everything through this LCD screen. You can control the two part cooling fans right here, clicking fan, and there's this nice dial you can spin, or you can click full speed, half speed, or off. Go back here, go to heat, you can preheat PLA, uh, ABS, and AC, which is just going back to zero, setting at zero. Also, this is where the uh, SD card slot is. So you have that there. It says up here, card inserted. And the way you print from the SD card is you click print, and you have, this is your nice, this is your SD, SD card, and you have everything in here. So I guess now I'm gonna talk about something that I thought was gonna be an issue, but it wasn't. So the actual print surface of the bed is a piece of acrylic. And you know, acrylic usually isn't that flat, and I, would, I thought that I was going to get issues with adhesion also because it's kind of a, a glossy. But using a little bit of Elmer's glue, scraping it on, it, uh, I have not had any issues with it sticking. I've actually, this is the original glue from the first time I printed, it's still on there. And I used an entire roll of filament on this printer and it never had uh, layered adhesion issues. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about um, some of the, the print quality of this printer. I have been blown away with the print quality. So this is the very first print that I've done, I did. Trying to get it to focus. Okay, so that's probably the best I'll get it to focus. But this little Darth, these are some Darth Vader heads, these are the very first prints. They turned out beautifully. Here is the Benchy. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually throw up some high res photos of all these. Okay, and next I'm gonna talk about the lattice. So I printed the, uh, the Maker's Muse Lattice, I believe it was Maker's Muse, and uh, you do, we do get a little bit of uh, bubbles on the edges and a little bit of stringing, but other than that, this looks amazing. So, you know, that printed right there. Here is another print. This is a low poly uh, Pikachu. Um, once again, looks beautiful. And so also, I got a little bored the other night you know, while I was trying to figure out what I was going to talk about with this amazing printer. And I just, I had a little bit of the uh, Semi-Flex Ninja Flex. So I was able to print a good, a little bit of it before it, it kind of uh, jammed up. But this is, you know, you can see it's a little bit, it's pretty flexible. And this is just the Semi-Flex. I, I did try some of the actual true Ninja Flex, you know, the really stretchy stuff, but that just kept getting jammed up in the extruder and would not allow me to print with it. So, yeah. Okay, I showed you all the prints with high rose photos and such. Uh, this is the Maker's Muse, like I said, and all that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk about some of the pros of this 3D printer. Uh, one of the pros is it was completely fully built, and I didn't have to do too much tinkering. Just throw on the auto leveling probe, level it, and you get amazing prints. Uh, next pro that I'd say with this printer is it prints amazing. Like, I cannot find any issues with this Benchy besides some of the uh, arching up at the top and this top surface, but it looks beautiful. Uh, I really like the touchscreen uh, interface. You know, you have everything nicely laid out, operation, enable, enable motors, uh, fan on and off, all that, you know, all that fun stuff. Uh, 
print adhesion is much better than I thought it was was gonna be, but you know that's really good. And I believe they also BQ also just posted on their Facebook group uh, that they do have an upgrade, which is like a there's like a piece of plastic. I'll show it, go ahead and throw the video into this clip. And it uh, it peels right off, and it's just like a it's like a adhesion of like a it's like build tack somewhat, and it just has really good adhesion. Uh, the next thing I'd say the pro is it is this printer is under two hundred dollars. That is amazing for getting these types of print quality, and for it being completely fully built. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and show off some of the packaging because that that was also a big pro of this uh, printer is BQ is very good with their packaging so I'm gonna go ahead and show the package okay as you can see this is the uh, box that the 3D printer came in it is a spherical or it's a cylindrical box all the way around has a, has a lid and the printer was inside there uh, the printer was extremely well wrapped uh, the entire hot end was wrapped in a plastic and along with the actual carbon rods was all wrapped around itself and nicely uh, attached with also some spacers that kept it from like bouncing around and then it was also wrapped upwards so it didn't actually move at all within shipping. Uh, the entire thing was then wrapped in plastic and and uh, covered in f lots and lots of foam and it it there was no issues when, it, when I got it. It was not broken in any way. It was very nice. The, uh, packaged and let me go back over to the print for some final remarks okay so this printer overall I'd say is probably my favorite 3d printer also mostly because a very well built you know very sturdy strong and such uh, belts are very tight which is wonderful for 3d printers carbon rods have some springs on it uh, nice cooling fans with a cool shroud, and I would and I would highly recommend this 3D printer to anyone uh, getting started in 3D printing, and you know just not really be feeling timid with having to build a 3D printer because this one's you know it's not going to break the bank, and it has it performs wonderfully as you guys saw in those prints earlier. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching this review. Uh, highly recommend this printer as I said uh, very nice packaging very well built and who, what can go wrong with the price so yeah thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time